Good afternoon and welcome to Ashton Gate as Leicester City embark on another season in the Women's Super League, starting with a trip to newly promoted Bristol City, who won the Women's Championship last campaign. The home side back in the Women's Super League after two years away, having won the Women's Championship last season. Their head coach, Lauren Smith, had starts to five summer signings with four debuts. Satara Murray signed for a second spell with Bristol City over the summer, but there are debuts for Megan Connolly, Amy Rogers, Amelie Thestrup, and also Carrie Jones, who spent last season on loan at Leicester City. She signed permanently from Manchester United. As for Leicester City, Willie Kirk hands debuts to four summer signings as well, with Amy Palmer, who signed from Bristol City, being one of them. The other three, Lena Petterman, Julie Thibode and Yanis Kamen, the Belgian. So the hosts will get us underway for the 2023-24 Women's Super League season. And kicking off is Carrie Jones, of all people, who spent last season on loan at the Foxes. And first off, both sets of players will take the knee, applauded by the supporters, showing solidarity in the continued fight against discrimination in sports and society in general. And Bristol City get us underway at Ashton Gate. Highly expectant Women's Super League season. Bristol City will be aiming for survival. Leicester City might be aiming a little bit higher, having finished 10th last season. That's a loose touch from O'Brien, but it <laughs> works out favourably for Nevin. Here is O'Brien again, pokes it back to Howard, who goes for goal. Oh, it's not a bad effort at all. Ripples the roof of the net on its way over. It's a really good strike from Sophie Howard. Not a bad try at all. Jones, good couple of touches from her. Carry Jones. Oh, scores! On her Bristol City debut against the club she spent last season on loan at. It's a lovely turn and a great finish from Carrie Jones. And Bristol City lead 1 0. Looked like it might have been going wide, but it just crept into the corner. And it's the home side who leads. Pass from Connolly, goes astray, but Powell will keep it in. That's a great ball over the top for Jones. Lights off her line, she won't get there. Jones going for goal and Howard clearing from inside the six-yard box. Picked up a really important position, Sophie Howard to clear. Never really looked like Leipzig was going to get there. Jones was always the favourite, just nicked it past the German goalkeeper. Fortunately, Sophie Howard was covering. Petterman on to O'Brien. Not too much to aim for in the centre, though. Still with O'Brien. Eventually, the blue shirts file into the box. O'Brien's delivery controlled and cleared by Connolly. Round goes Howard. First time ball onto Goodwin. Goodwin, clever, onto Cayman. Cuts it back for Tierney. Blocked in front of goal. It's going to break here for O'Brien. Around the defender and lifting it over the top. Shannon O'Brien. It was a wonderful chance for Tierney. A really important block from Aspin. Here's Howard for Leicester City. On to Tibaud. 
It's a Tierney, that's a clever ball to find Goodwin. Is there one chance at the end of the half here for Leicester City? Goodwin, surely for Petterman, great block, really good block. Breaks for Palmer. Oh, what a goal! Amy Palmer against her former club. And as Carrie Jones scored against Leicester for Bristol City, Amy Palmer has also scored against the club she spent last season at. And it's a terrific finish into the top corner. And we're back level just before half time. Nevin's throw. Lovely touch onto Whelan. Now Tierney back to goal. Whelan again. Kept out by Bentley at a near post. And that nearly was another goal for Leicester City. One one at the break. Jones's goal cancelled out by Palmer. Here's Green into Whelan, round to Goodwin. Back to Green again. Now Tierney on to Nevin. Goes for a long ball over to O'Brien. Good first touch from her, and finds Rantala too, who is tripped on the edge of the penalty area. It's a Leicester City free kick. Seem to have switched formation slightly, Leicester City. An air of expectancy around Ashton Gate ahead of this free kick. Uta Rantala has just come off the bench and the effort goes into the wall. She's got a second chance here. Finds Green. Good ball through for Tierney, who can't quite beat Bentley, who comes off her line and gathers inside a six yard box. And the initial free kick was. Struck into the wall from Rantala. But she kept it alive. Ball threaded through cleverly for Tierney. Who couldn't quite beat Bentley with the efforts from a tight angle and in close proximity as well. Cayman's ball inside. Intercepted, but Goodwin picks up the loose ball here for Leicester City. On to Nevin, the space out wide, and she finds O'Brien too, who's got a lot of space to work with here. O'Brien scores! And Leicester City make the perfect start to the second half. Shannon O'Brien finishing past Bentley at a near post. And the Foxes have come out of the trap door in the second half and have been rewarded for their efforts. A goal just before half time and a goal just after half time to turn the score around in their favour. And it's terrifically taken by Shannon O'Brien. And they're in front Leicester City for the first time this afternoon, as their performance probably warrants. Rantala's corner flicked on. There was a handball shout in there, I thought. But it's still in play for the meantime. And it's another corner to Leicester City. I thought Whelan's flick might have struck the arm of Aspin, but... They were in close proximity. Next delivery from Rantala, another good one. Petterman's header goes in. And Leicester lead 3-1. Lena Petterman on her Fox's debut. A free header, but a really well taken header. Into the roof of the net. And Bristol City have been left unfounded by Leicester's incredible start to this second 45. And they now have a two-goal advantage, the Foxes. Having entered first half stoppage time behind. Here is O'Brien. Good skill up against Morgan. O'Brien keeping it in play. Going back to Nevin. Rantala takes over. O'Brien again, who's onside. Now Nevin. Nevin still. On to Cayman. Decent effort and tipped over the top by Bentley. Forcing a really good save from the Bristol City goalkeeper there, Cayman. Dug out the shot really well. And Bentley needed to be equal to it. It's another corner for Leicester City. It's been one-way traffic in this second half so far. It 
That's a great ball in. Headed up and away by Green. Leipzig's punch, Murray's efforts over the top. And that one goes down as a big chance for Bristol City. And in the mix of all that, Brooke aspin has gone down. And they kept it alive well, the home side. Satara Murray unable to keep her effort down in the end. As Bentley clears. Cayman intercepts. Whelan's flick finds Cayman again. Rose in space. And it's a brilliant interception. Kane might get to the loose ball, but Bentley able to clear. Here is Howard looking for and finding Whelan. Whelan's delivery, there's Rose. Surely for Rantala it's in. Another debut goal, this time for Rantala. Uta Rantala in the right place at the right time to surely seal the three points for Leicester. Tucks it away neatly into the corner. And that fourth goal had been brewing from the Foxes. And it marks an incredible second half performance from Willie Kirk's side. Symes throw finds Jones. There's space on the left here for Ward. If they can get it out to her, and they do. It's Mary Ward. Ah, that's a penalty, surely. It is. It was a wild tackle. CJ Bott came sprawling across to try and win the ball desperately. But didn't touch the ball, and only took out Ward. And Bristol City, pretty instantly after conceding, have won a penalty. And Amelie Testrup, the Danish player, who spent the second half of last season on loan at West Ham, from PSV has a chance to pull a goal back for Bristol City and keep them in the contest. And it looked like it was all but over. Test up. Oh, Leipzig got a hand to it but couldn't keep it out. And it's raining goals at Ashton Gate. Bristol City two, Leicester City four. What a start to the season. And that just creeps a little bit of doubt into the Foxes. Been thrown in by Bot to Whelan. Good turn from Aileen Whelan. Good ball out wide for Kane as well. It's a great cross too. And it will find Rose. Rose to wrap it up straight at Bentley. Could have been another debutant on the score sheet. But Bentley holds on. Good build up play again from the Foxes. It's a lovely turn from Rose. Deflected ball onto Whelan. And there goes the full time whistle. It's victory for Leicester City on the opening day of the Women's Super League for the very first time. They had to wait until December for their first Women's Super League win in their first season in the top flight. Last season, they had to wait until January for their first win, but it's victory on the opening day here by four goals to two against newly promoted Bristol City, who certainly gave the Foxes a scare when they went 1-0 up through former Foxes loanee, Carrie Jones, who finished very well, but then Amy Palmer scored against her former club, an absolute rocket with her left foot into the top corner. And then Leicester started the second half in superb fashion with goals from Shannon O'Brien and Lena Petterman. Petterman on her Foxes debut. That came before another debut goal from Uta Rantala before a Bristol City penalty pulled one back late on. A goal fest at Ashton Gate, but one that Leicester City have taken three points from. It finishes Bristol City two, Leicester City four.